Hello everybody, just wanted to do a quick uh, overview on this Rice Tilt Deck trailer. So it is a 2018 full tilt trailer, not a, not a partial. So the whole deck is tilting. Just wanted to go over a few things. So this trailer has been, been a good trailer overall. It's a channel frame. So it's got a channel frame underneath and also channels, channel supports going across. Supports are 16 inch on center except for up front here it spans almost 20 some inches and back here which is kind of a problem right here as you can see we've added these supports these supports weren't there before we've actually had a piece of equipment break through the deck on this one uh just because that span right there is so far it's i think it's 22 inches with no support right there so just keep that in mind. You may want to add some extra extra supports when you need to redo your deck or on our second deck on this one. Uh, one thing I really do like about this one is the locking mechanism. It's got this locking hook right here. That's a positive lock right into here, uh, which is great. I've had some problems on a PJ trailer where it actually locks into the channel like this. And over time, that channel actually got bent out and I had a constant issue with uh, with the deck tilting down. We didn't want it to. So definitely a good good thing there. And as you can see, it's got uh, two 7,000 pound Dexter axles with brakes on both. Uh, the tires that came on this one are eight ply tires. I would highly recommend at least 10 ply, if not 14 ply. Eight ply is pretty, pretty rough if you're gonna be fully loaded. Uh, so, anyway, it's got uh, all LED lighting and a fully sealed wiring harness. And now that we're at the back of the trailer here, you can see that this one's got about a two inch lip where there are some, I know the PJ has a knife edge. So this can be a problem if you're loading things like scissor lifts and forklifts, but if you're loading tractors, UTVs, that sort of thing, it's not any issue. Uh, so anyway that's been good i'll run up front here and show you a few other things another neat feature of this trailer is it has a fully sealed wiring harness right here as you can see and the really nice thing about this is later on down the road when you need to replace it it actually just clips in so you can easily unclip and clip it so easy easy access there and works out well so we actually added a winch plate to this trailer as well, right up here. We don't have the winch on it yet, but hoping to get that on here pretty quick. So anyway, this one's got a tongue box, which is great for straps and chains. Pretty handy. Um, and it's got one, a single 12,000 pound jack. And right over here, if we go over the specs of this trailer, it is rated at 14,000 pounds even and has a payload capacity of 10,320 pounds. So anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.